Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be discussing some news we got relating <clears throat> to the new Gotham Knight CW show. Um, so if you enjoyed the video, hit like button down below. I'm also going to be giving my opinions about this. So, <laughs> let me know your opinions about this in the comments down below. This is going to be an interesting video. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. I'm probably going to go on a rant. We'll see. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. I guess you'll find out. Because you'll be seeing this and I would already know. <laughs> so I guess we'll find out. And if I do go on a rant, I'll, there'll probably be a weird cut. So <laughs> just bear with that. I'm sorry, but bear with that. Unless you really want to see me go on a rant, you know. <laughs> that's up to you people, but you know. <laughs> so hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully I don't go on a rant. I don't know. We'll see. Just enjoy the video. So a couple hours ago, point in time recording this, it's... Um, February 3rd at 7.30 p.m. Yes, I record it late. It's normally later, but yeah. Um, we learned that Gotham Knights, which we learned a couple months ago, was being worked on to become a CW show. There's a game called Gotham Knights. These two are completely different things. Why in the hell... The show writers and the producers of Gotham Night Show think it's a good idea to name the show this. I don't know. <laughs> um, copy a game title. That's going to be really good for them. Um, we learned that it's getting a pilot. CW decided to greenlight it, which I guess is good considering it's, I guess, technically the first, uh, well, it's not a spinoff, but it's the first outside DC TV show, superhero related show, that's been greenlit. Look at Green Young Canary, he's Painkiller, and some other show that Wonder Girl that got canceled. So, you know, <laughs> I guess this is a spotlight on something, right? So here's some information about Gotham Knights. This is what really doesn't make it good for me. Gotham Knights comes from Batwoman executive producers Kate Fiveash and James. I can't say his last name. Or her, whatever. And executive story editor, Natalie Abrams. So we're looking at three Batwoman uh, producers and one... Two producers and one writer from Batwoman. Which, the way the show is... Um, <laughs> that's not good. Um, but here's the description of the show. In the wake of Bruce Wayne's murder, his rebellious adopted son forges an unlikely alliance with the children of Batman's enemies when they are all framed for killing the Cape Crusader. And as the city's most wanted criminals, the renegade band of misfits must fight to clear their names, but in a Gotham with no Dark Knight to protect it. The city descends into the most dangerous it's ever been. However, hope comes from the most unexpected of places, as this team of misfit mismatched fugitives will become its next generation of saviors known as the Gotham Knights. Um, this is written by the trio. The Batwoman trio is based on the DC comic characters created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger, Finger, whatever. Although it is saying Gotham City, it is unrelated to both the CW's Batwoman, which is in its third season, and the upcoming video game from Warner Brothers. It's produced by Berlanti Productions in association with Warner Bros. Television, Five Ash, and Story Whatever, exec produce, alongside Greg Berlanti, Sarge Setcher, and David Madam. Abrams is also co exec producer, while Danny Cannon will direct and exec produce the pilot. We have no casting as of right now on who will be on the show. Um, the th thing that I'm glad they're doing is they're not making it part of the Arrowverse, because this would be a hellhole if it was. It's based in Gotham. It's placed in a dark Gotham. Um, which I guess... The way they're setting up that Bruce Wayne's dead and Gotham just went into a hellhole. You can look at that as Batwoman set up in a way. Although Batwoman didn't really do a good job at looking at it. So I hope Gotham Knights does that. Because obviously Batman is Gotham's best protector. Batwoman couldn't even live up to it. Nightwing couldn't even live up to it. So, when Batman's gone, what do you have? You have a ruined city broken into a billion pieces. It, that's the only way it works. Um, Batman didn't do a good job of that, like I said. So, I hope Gotham Knights does something good with that. But I'm really worried concerning there's three Batman people that have zero idea about these characters at all. <laughs> or at least they show that. Um, who knows what they really do, just don't care what we want. Um, but that's because I don't like Batwoman. 
Um, the show, I, the character, I think, is great. I love Ryan's Batwoman, don't get me wrong. But the writing is disgusting. And, yeah. <laughs> um, but anyways... I want to go back to the... And I'm, I'm getting all this from Deadline, by the way, which is very reliable. I've used some their uh, outlet for several sources um, and videos. So if you don't believe me, um, go read the article and come back and watch this. And, you know. Um, when it says, in the wake of Bruce Wayne's murder, his rebellious adopted son, for it is an unlikely alliance to the children of Batman's enemies, when they are all framed for killing the creep, Caped Crusader. Bruce Wayne's adopted son could literally be Night or Dick Grayson, Tim, Jason, or Damien. <laughs> that doesn't like dial anything down. Now in the comics and some movies, it's been Nightwing or Damien. That's always been Bruce Wayne's adopted son. He's always considered Nightwing a son. He's said that a hundred thousand times throughout anything he's in. He's always considered Dick Grayson a son of his. And actually called him adopted son once. But considering Damien, and I heard people saying Damien, Damien is Bruce Wayne's son. He's not adopted. Um, so I do think it is Dick Grayson. But the part where it says for there's an unlikely alliance with the children of Batman's enemies, that's not Dick Grayson. There's no way Dick Grayson would align himself with the children of a sociopath. And yes, I'm talking about Joker, but also like everyone else. <laughs> that Batman has fought. Aligning yourself after working all this time with the man who saved the city a couple hundred thousand times. With his children? <laughs> yeah, no, that's not Dick Grayson. Um, maybe Tim. I, I don't know if Tim's even in Gotham Knights. I haven't read the comics. I don't plan on it. <laughs> but I don't see this being Dick Grayson. If it is Dick Grayson, as long as they play it off well, which they won't, because it's Batwoman writers, um, and you know they won't play it off well. I mean, look at, the sh look at Batwoman. Look what they did with the new Joker. I haven't watched Batwoman since season one. But I know Javicia really cares about the role as Batwoman. Um, which is why I'm saying she's a good Batwoman. Because she is. She's amazing as Batwoman. I've seen some stunts that she's done. Some scenes that she did. She was really amazing in some of them. But she's given horrible writing. It's an Andrew Garfield Spider-Man situation here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what to tell you. But if you do know what I'm talking about. You know how bad this is. How bad this very well could be. I mean, Gotham Knights, not only is it going to be the most hyped up game for the last like two years or whenever it was announced, now they're coming in with the show copying the exact title of the video game that's been overhyped for a year now and is still being hyped up. I'm hyped for it. And now we're getting this and it's completely different. Nothing connected to Arrowverse. Nothing connected to Batwoman or the game. Just the comics, and frankly, it sounds like a load of crap. <laughs> it really does. The adopted son of Batman, the only pe person it could be is Dick Grayson. That or Tim Drake. I don't see it being Jason. Jason was never considered Batman's adopted son. Unless I missed something, but I'm pretty damn sure he's never considered adopted son. And also, as we know, Jason is a hero in this universe. Dick Grayson is a hero. Tim, if assuming he's in this, is a hero. Batgirl is a hero. All four of these heroes are heroes. Everyone knows that. The entire city knows that. So, this, to me, seems like this is a, either a new player that we have no idea about, or it's Tim. <laughs> yeah, I... If it's Dick Grayson, I'm going to be pissed. I'm just saying. If if they're leaning this up for Dick Grayson to be, quote-unquote, the bad guy, I'm going to be annoyed. But then it says, when they are all framed for killing the Cape Crusader, as the city's most wanted criminals, this renegade band of misfits must fight to clear their names. But in a Gotham with no Dark Knight protected, and so on and so forth, they will become the Gotham Knights. So it sounds like the Bat team is being framed for... Batman's murder. 
and they're teaming up with Batman's, the children of Batman's enemies. What? <laughs> I, this description, like, literally just made me go on a rant, and then I just had to think back, like, a minute to what I was saying, because I had no idea what I just said. <laughs> what I just read, I mean. In the wake of Bruce Wayne's murder, his rebellious adopted son forges an unlikely alliance with the children of Batman's enemies when they are all afraid for killing their caped crusader. As the city's most wanted criminals, blah, 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 blah. Hope comes from the most unexpected of places as this team of Mitch Mass fugitives will become its next generation of saviors known as the Gotham Knights. So are they saying Robin, Nightwing, Batgirl, and Red Hood, assuming those are the four main leads, are being accused of killing Batman? But then why put in... Bruce Wayne's adopted son is working with the children of Batman's enemies. All his adopted children that would be adopted are on the f team. <laughs> and he's aligning with them. So are they going to play it off as like Batgirl, Red Hood, or Robin? Are children of one of Batman's enemies? Are they really going to... What? <laughs> Does anyone understand this? Or am I just like an idiot? I'm probably an idiot. If I'm an idiot, type down below, you're an idiot, and tell me why. Because <laughs> I've read this article four times, and it makes zero sense. Bruce Wayne's adopted son forges an unlikely alliance with the children of Batman's enemies when they're all afraid to become the Cape Crusader, and then, like, write it down the article, that same team will be later known as the Gotham Knights, which we know is with Robin, Batgirl, Red Hood, and Nightwing. That's how it is in the comics. I know that much about the comics. It's those four. It's always those four. So are they really going to play it off as one of these four, Nightwing, Batgirl, Red Hood, or Robin, are one of Batman's enemies' children? <laughs> what? Am I the only one who's, like, getting that from this? I don't know. This, this sounds stupid. <laughs> Let's just be real for a minute. This sounds like this one of the stupidest decisions Greg Blanty have ever made. Um, next to uh, not doing good enough to have for Green on the Canaries to pass. And, you know, keeping Legends of Tomorrow up, because that should be cancelled by now. But, <laughs> I, I do want to point something out. I do think this is a good thing. That CW greenlit this show. And I'm not going to watch it, probably. But, the reason why I'm saying it's a good thing they greenlit the show... It's because of the fact that they are co actually considering green lighting shows. Which gives us, it should give us a lot of hope for Justice U. Which honestly, if we don't get Justice U over Gotham Knights, I'm going to be pissed. If they don't green light Justice U, which stars John Diggle... <laughs> Who everyone in the Arrowverse loves. There's not a single person that doesn't like John Diggle or David Ramsey. Everyone loves the guy. We've been wanting him on a series for years now. We finally get a chance. And if they don't greenlight Justice U, I will literally spend a 30 minutes recording a video going on a full on hate rant to CW, telling them to go screw themselves. And that they're idiots if they don't pass Justice U. I am telling you right now, <laughs> that will happen. So CW, you're not watching this. <laughs> you don't watch anything. Not even your own shows, clearly, because you kept Legends on for the past seven years somehow. And Batwoman, I don't know how you renewed that show. But clearly no one at CW watches these shows, okay? No one, no one at CW watches them. But let's be real for a minute. Justice U has a lot more potential than whatever the hell this crap is. It really does. We've been asking for a Batman show set in the Arrowverse for years. We aren't getting that. We've been asking for a Green Lantern show. Obviously, that's never happening. But we are getting, hopefully, Justice U, which stars John Diggle, which we've been wanting for years and to get his own show. He deserves it more than anyone else. So, <laughs> Would you rather have Justice U or Gotham Knights? Which sounds like a crap show. I'd rather have Justice U with, with an amazing lead on the show, John Diggle, than the most confusing and most headachey of descriptions of a show, of a pilot, that I've ever read in my entire life. <laughs> I, 
if anyone can explain this description to me better, I will, I will, you know, I'll dial it back, like, a percentage, but, one <laughs> percent, but, I mean, this literally sounds stupid, <laughs> It sound it literally sounds like it's the game, and we don't need a game to be on a TV show. If you're gonna bring a game over to something, do it in a movie, not a TV show. And I know, I know, they said it's not part of the game, it's not connected to the game or Batwoman. But the fact that they have three Batwoman Sorry, the fact that they have three Batwoman people, two producers and one story editor. Clearly, they aren't good. Look at Batwoman. Um, I think Batwoman's ratings are the lowest out of all the Arrowverse shows. Um, so, you know, whoever... Well, <laughs> I, I this thing I also don't get. Why would Batwoman producers, right? Because Batwoman is still going to be on. They're renewed for a fourth season, I'm pretty sure, unless I was wrong. But I'm, I'm pretty sure they're renewed for a fourth season. So... Why would you draw your focus, right, from season four, a new se what well, season four is an unlucky number for a show. Um, look at Arrow, Flash, Supergirl, <laughs> I, did, I had flashbacks and I, I wanted to jump off a cliff. <laughs> Supergirl season four was, <laughs> Arrow season four, Flash season five, four, sorry, were absolute garbage, but it's still like good stuff. Supergirl is just awful season four all around and then I just kept going really down from there. I went up a little bit in season five, but the point is season four is an unlucky number for the Arrowverse shows. I think we can all agree on that crap. Alright. Maybe Stargirl can pull it off, honestly. I'm interested to see Stargirl season four. I think it's gonna be good. But anyways why would you draw your focus from a show that's already not doing well? In ratings, on writing, on everything. <laughs> and spend the time... Just... Focusing on their show. Makes zero sense to me whatsoever. It really does. So... I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Um... I... I'm not excited for, I, I... Okay... <laughs> I'm half excited for this show because the Batman part, him dying and the Bat team taking up his mantle, sounds really good. It really does. But the part about the adopted son crafting up with one of Batman's worst enemies and then them turning into the Gotham Knights, that makes zero sense to me whatsoever. I, I don't get why they would go down that route. And I'm honestly, unless we see something, I'm going to keep believing that. So, <laughs> Let me know in the comments down below what you think about this. I'm interested to read it. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new. Like button down below. Share it. Comment. Have a good day. Have a good night. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.